Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Artisbot2.0 here, and today I'll be showing you how to record in Cut4. Um, so it's actually pretty easy, and I'll show you guys right now how to do it. So, um, first of all, what you want to do is download Fraps. Uh, Fraps is a program which you normally have to pay, but I think that I have like a free download. I think I can provide that in the descriptions. So go check it out, otherwise go to the internet, uh, go for example to Cap Proxy and um, download your crack or whatever from there. Now once you got fraps, what you want to do is go over to the movie tab, so you should start here, so you want to go over to movie. Uh, what you want to do is change or just uh, make every settings just like mine. Make this 120 frames per second, and you don't want to split every four gigabytes because that's annoying. Um, and just do it like that. Uh, you can change this if you want. Um, I'll quickly get my external hard drive. I'll plug that in for a second, so I can change the direction towards my external hard drive. Okay. Now I can go to view and uh, don't want to show that. Um, go to no, I don't want to go to view, I want to go to change and I want to go to my external hard drive, which is this. Um, go towards mine. Um, Fraps movie, so I'll put it over there. There you go. So um, now when I record, I will automatically store my uh, footage on the hard drive. Now, once you got fraps, like I said, you want to go to um, conquer or not? What, what conquer? What the fuck? No, I mean um, you want to go to your Call of Duty direction. So go to Steam, Steam apps, common. Call of Duty 4 and you want to launch it. Now, once you're launching it, you want to go and create a new profile and double click on that and just make sure you got every settings just like mine. Um, this isn't right, so I'll quickly change this a bit. Alright, so. I would recommend doing or choosing for those settings. They're pretty good. Really nice. Apply. And now I'm gonna quit this. Now uh, I want to uh, get my demo. Um, where you get it from is not really important. You can record it directly off your uh, Call of Duty 4 or you can download some on the internet um, I don't know where I got mine from I guess I got them from the internet the mouse and gonna go to crash whatever uh, just like so and once you got your demo done you want to download one more thing and that is uh, Cut for uh, player, I guess it's called. Cut for player. And it's the first link you will find. Just hit download. It's a free program and it's really nice to use. So um, definitely go for this program, it's really nice. Now, once you got that program downloaded, uh, what you want to do is go to uh, where you downloaded it. Or where you stored it, whatever. Uh, I'm going to mine. Uh, for player. Here we go. Now, um, you want to go to setup and you want to go to uh, your game mode where you have stored like all of your um, mods and movie mods. So um, for me, it's like Mod Warfare. I can find it back straight here if you want to go to mods 
mod warfare where is it here it's here i got all all my mods in here this guy mod uh whatever mod i don't know so um what you want to do then is go to the speed slow ultra whatever it's called and you want to set this to uh, 0 0.25 then you want to save it and you want to open your demo um my demo is at my desktop so I want to go towards there and I'll just pick this one uh, yeah I'll open this one up now um, simply slow down your clip by pressing the 2 uh, key on your keypad or numpad whatever it's called and it will slow down the video completely like so then you'll want to know what the fuck is going on so now I want to start recording with fraps I'm gonna press F12 and now it's recording my fraps or with fraps whatever so there he got the shot this is all set up as you can see in the kill feed it's been set up so I don't know I haven't re made this video or config or demo so um, yeah I'm gonna quit that and uh, now I want to go to where I actually start my uh, which one is it 8th of November okay this one so Fraps creates quite a big files for a short amount of recording time so keep that in mind uh, I can actually close it up this kind of and now what you want to do is go over to Sony Vegas and drag in your clip like so uh, No, I don't want to do that. Oh, I don't know what it is. So, now once you've got your clip dragged in, you want to go to your crop. Uh, you want to make it a tiny more different. Oh, uh, you want to go, like, make it like so. And it should create a nice crop, like so. Then what you want to do is obviously um, go to properties, go disable or sample and untick maintain aspect ratio, click OK. Um, if you want the sound you can keep it, but I'm gonna delete it. Uh, so take your group away from and I'll delete that. Now, once you got your clip dragged in in Sony Vegas and you disabled your resample, um, you want to hold control and drag your clip all the way to the end, and then it should make it back to normal speed. Um, and I'm gonna play it. It's at normal speed, as you can see. There you go, it's looking good. Now I want to cut it off at the end, like so. And then you can add uh, some color corrections, whatever. So you want to go then to wherever, it's not really such a big deal. So, uh, for example, magic bullet looks magic bullet looks can add that um, edit and I want to go to <laughs> some presets. This is looking all right, actually. Well, what? 
So I'll just go for this one. Uh, you can play around with it. You can create your own. Whatever. I'm gonna take this one quickly. Uh, just for this video. Now, if you want to make like a little slow motion, like straight after he shoots, you can. start the slow-mo here so drag this a little bit away hold control again and stretch it and make it attach to this here and it should perfectly match your clip I guess yeah there you go and this is in slow motion so yeah, that's kind of good. Is it actually at 120 frames per second recorded? Okay. Um, I can close this up. And uh, now it's time to render. This is really important, guys. Uh, most people render it, and the outcome is really shit. So I'll show you guys right here the best outcome you can possibly get. So render us. And go towards uh, video for Windows, and then take a whatever. It doesn't really matter. It should be one of those, like one of those. You should pick one. So, and then you want to customize your template, and uh, you want to take exactly the same as I did. Um, so you should make it look like this uh, and then for the codec or the video format you want to download the Lagarit lossless codec uh, it's a free uh, codec you can download from the internet uh, you want to go to configure you want to select the YV12 and you want to select use multi-threading and you want to hit OK. Now for the rest, just copy down everything. Like so. And it should look like this. Then hit OK. Um, then get a place where you want to. Um, tutorial. OK. And then just hit Render. It should render out fairly fast. Um, so, yeah. I'll just wait until it's done. It's not gonna take that much longer. Almost done, and I'm gonna open it up. Um, let's check it out. So, 60 frames per second, and the quality is insane. Slow motion is also really smooth. Um, yeah, it's ready to upload basically. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys kind of joined this video. If you have like any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.